It's lunchtime. But instead of footy and swings, these students are on a mission. We pick up rubbish, we get some bins and put them in one big bin. They're part of East Derwent Primary School's Environment Club, volunteering to scour the school grounds at lunchtime, pick up litter from their local foreshore and collect food waste and recycling from classrooms. Oh, it came out with some goods. Don't throw this stuff on the ground. It's yucky. A lot of the students are putting a little bit of peer pressure on other students if they see them at recess or lunchtime to pick up their litter if they see them drop it. One focus for the students is making sure that food organics and garden organics, or FOGO waste, doesn't end up in landfill creating greenhouse gases. Those know how to use that? If we see kids like trying to put like some fruit in the bin, I'll say, but no, I'll take that for you and go put it in the FOGO bin because I want the environment to be healthy and strong. To celebrate their efforts, the Environment Club has had a special visit from the truck that takes their FOGO waste to be composted. <laughs> oh, this is cool! <laughs> the driver knows if people are putting you know, plastic bags or things in their FOGO bin. It's also really good to get them to link together that it doesn't just disappear. You know, waste doesn't disappear. This food waste gets turned into compost and these trucks are a very important part of that chain. The Brighton Council area introduced a FOGO service late last year and it's free for schools. All aiming to get half our organic waste out of landfill. If children can do it, I'm pretty sure us adults can do it as well. There's rubbish everywhere! Ellen Coulter, ABC News.